Hey friends, Lucian here with the Bullish Bears team making the watch list uh, video for Tuesday. I'm a thinking that it's going to be May 1st. I don't think there's a 31st. So uh, actually, let me take my look at my phone here. I don't think there is. All right, so it's May 1st. All right, so for Tuesday, May 1st. Uh, so looking at the futures here right now, not good, not good at all. Still kind of doing this descending triangle uh, kind of pattern here. You can see kind of some, uh, here's some of the bases right here. <clears throat> so you can see lower highs being formed. Can't break out uh, above that. You can see the base kind of here, you know, kind of keeps going down. Um, the problem, as you can see here, is price is now failing the 9 in the, the 20 moving average lines. That is not good. Uh, next up, you got to look at this 200 SMA right over here, right around that 26, what is that, 11, 12, something like that line. So, uh, again, lower highs uh, keeps bouncing off of these areas down here, so we got to see. Um, but uh, as you can see, not looking good at the moment. <clears throat> Let's take a look at Bitcoin. Uh, same kind of thing, big descending triangle right over here. You can see there was a big double top formation here. You can see the base, um, kind of just let me remove this one here. You can see the base of this double top right over here. 10,000 is obviously a huge psychological resistance area. You can see it kind of rebroached this area, rejected. Now it's trading sideways. Price is still above the moving average line, so it might still go up. But it's got to get above 10,000. Then it's got to get over this major area of that double top around 11.7, right around there. So got to watch those areas carefully. Um, so, yeah, I've been out of pocket for the past couple of days or so. Into kind of part of last week, Dan's been covering a lot um, because I'm still trying to really get all this stuff done for these candlesticks for you guys. Uh, we should be launching course number two probably sometime this week. Uh, then we will be having, again, a desktop background for you guys, probably a couple of them, uh, as well as a candlesticks course on basically how to trade all these patterns with stops and um, <coughs> entries. So we're going to have a whole bunch of good stuff for you guys, just lots of just content. So in the meantime, make sure you're watching our candlesticks videos again. Uh, we've been stressing it here. We just launched our Candlesticks course, I think a week or two ago. Um, so again, a few thousand dollars for the courses. Make sure you take these, uh, watch these videos. Every single pattern is extremely important because when I do these watch list videos, I show patterns, uh, trend lines, all that good stuff. And if you're new and you don't know how to do them, uh, it's very, very important uh, to um, learn the patterns, right? Support and resistance is key. Buy low, sell high. Uh, if you don't know the patterns, you're not going to become a good trader. Pure and simple. Takes a long time. Takes months, if not a year plus, to learn. It takes looking at hundreds and thousands um, of uh, charts until these patterns start to become familiar. All right. So you got to look at patterns all the time, and that's why when I make these watch this videos, I don't make them five or ten minutes long and keep them short. I just show you guys over and over and over patterns. So I might do a watch this video for 45 minutes and have three or four stocks on it, but you're going to see the psychology and what I'm looking for. <clears throat> you know, when making these videos, you're going to see why I add something on, why I don't, where support is, where is it resistance is, and again, so it's important just to watch these videos over and over and over. Um, just to really learn about trading, right? So I'm doing the nightly scan tonight. Doesn't look like there's much on here for the bullish side of things, so we'll have to see if there's more potential bearish plays. Uh, we are adding on stocks now um, on the daily watch list, also between ten to twenty dollars. So anywhere from thirty cents to twenty dollars, rather than thirty cents up to ten dollars. Uh, so we're adding some. Um, you know, potential better plays for those of you guys that like to day trade or short term trade with stocks over $10 and not just under 10. So we're always, again, trying to give more back to you guys and keep things going. Keep an eye on these pot stocks. They may be uh, starting to pump. Uh, I've been waiting for the pump um, and they might start to be happening now. So we got to see. <coughs> Can, this is an ultimate pump and dump. You can see this one right here. 
kind of forming this triangle pattern. So um, this is definitely one to keep an eye on. Take a look at the five minute. Yeah, that might be setting up for a potential pump. Um, so you got these areas of resistance here. We go to the hourly. Da, 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 da. Yeah, it's looking like it's getting set up for it here. So um, definitely going to put can the ultimate pump and dump on. Um, I'm going to put, I want to see it to get above 450, that uh, half dollar amount. But we'll set the alert above 434. Uh, let's take a look here. So, uh, pot, pa, pump, <clears throat> and dump, pot, stock, might be ready to pump. See if it can get above 450. Right, so I wanted to see it get above 450, and then obviously, you know, again, you can see this thing pumps and then it dumps, right? Very obvious, um, you know, five dollars. So it's it's tough to tell, like, um, you know, support and resistance on these pump and dumps because there's just no rhyme or reason. They'll just they'll pump, they go up. You know, be careful, especially after three days. Sometimes they'll go four or five days and then dump, but keep an eye on three days, three to five days with these pot stocks, right? Four days here or a little bit more here, pumped up a little bit, then crash back down. And then you got to watch these moving average lines. Watch for price to hold the moving average lines before it gets pumped back up again. So that is for CAN. <clears throat> CNAB. Uh, let's go over to here. This is another one. Do I want to put this one on? Let me see. Um, I'm just going to put can on there for now. It's just one that I'm watching. I mean, again, if they if one runs, pretty much the majority of them start to run as well, uh, depending on how overextended that they are. So after you see them run three or four or five days, uh, watch for them to just dump right back down to the moving average lines, like up here, dump back down before it goes uh, you know, up again. So I'm just going to put can on there for now. ACBFF, that is uh, a Canadian pot stock. It's a little bit below the moving average lines right now. Let me see on the hourly. Might be starting to run. Kind of bull flagging, but it's got that overhead resistance on the 200, so I'm not going to put that one on for now. All right, so let's see what other ones we got here. Hmm. AKAO, it's a little bit overextended. Don't think I like that one. <clears throat> AQ, possibly. Let's see the hourly. That might be potentially making a run up. It's got uh, that $13 area would be resistance. You can see kind of like a bullish engulfing um pattern right here on these two candlesticks take a look at five minute yeah might be setting up let's take a put this one where is that right here 1208 <clears throat> so kind of got a bullish engulfing pattern here after it's being sold been sold off so it's going to put this one at or above 11.81. So you have bullish engulfing on daily. See if price can get over 12 with resistance. Around thirteen dollars. <coughs> so bullish engulfing pattern. Want to see price get back above over twelve dollars? Careful around thirteen dollars, and then obviously the moving average lines. So AQ. Let's look 
look over here. I'm going to get rid of this one. All right, perfect. All right, so let's go on here. ARLP. Hmm. It's coming upon some resistance right up over in there. That's 18 bucks area. Let's take a look at the hourly. Uh, it's a little bit overbought. Might be moving up, but it's got a lot of bunch of resistance up in here. Not gonna put that one on. <coughs> ATOS. Um. Possibly. Might be looking to get a pump right below that 450 marker. Um. Take a look at the daily again. Again, pump and dump stock, right? So it's right above those, right near that 20 moving average. So we're going to put it, go back to the hourly. I'm going to put it right here at that 450 marker. <clears throat> So I want to see price get above that 450. It's kind of above these moving average lines. It's getting smacked around at that 200. So C. Watch, it. Watch if price can get above 200 SMA on one hour around 4 50 for another pump. <clears throat> ATOS. ATOS. And let's go back here. So you can see it's just a pump and dump stock. All right? Pumps, dumps, pumps, dumps, pump, dumps. There you go. Uh, AXSM. Uh, <coughs> don't really like that one. CBI. No. C-H-E-K. This one's been smacking around a lot lately. Lots of volatility. Hmm. Just a very messy pattern. Let's go back to the daily. Smacked right off that 200 SMA today. Uh, I'm not going to put it on. We'll keep an eye on it for trade ideas. See if it pops up on trade ideas. Let's see here, CRR. Might be potentially starting to move up here. Uh, let's go to the hourly. A little bit overextended. Might have some room to run. Kind of got a triple top pattern, but it's kind of staying above there, so it might pull back. You want to see it stay above this 880 range. Uh, if it does, it's got some room. It's got some definitely some room. Let's go to the uh, to the daily. I mean, it can get pumped up. What is that? 960s. Let's see here. 880s. <clears throat> so. 884. Watch if 880s holds. If so, watch if price continues upwards with resistance between or with resistance between I'd say 950 to ten dollars to ten dollars <coughs> and above CRR looking right over here at the hourly you know what is this 969. Then you got to put some resistance right around there, around $10. So resistance up in these areas here. 
C R R. All right, dare no uh, hmm. Might be bull flagging there, getting ready for a pop. Let's see. Let's look at the hourly. Hmm. Holding that nine on the uh, on the uh, hourly. This one might get a pump. So you can kind of see this bull flag. The doji here I don't necessarily like, but it might be looking to get another pump. So got to watch and see. 184, there is a gap right over here, right? So 184 to, um, what is this? 184, 184 to 246. Let's look at the hourly. Right over here in this gap area here. 2 to 240 range. So might be looking to get a pump. Got to look and see. So All right. <clears throat> so let's do this. Let's look at today. Let's take it above 40. All right. 126, 26, I don't know, I don't like this pattern, this doji's throwing me off, I don't want to put that one on, change my mind, Um, bit overextended, EBIO, might be a potential short if you can find shares, uh, <clears throat> no, EYPT, I am going to go back to Dare. Am I going to go back to Dare? There's these spinning tops. It gets really, oh, it is kind of, screw it. I'll just put it on just to keep an eye on it. I get indecisive sometimes. 26 and or above. Careful of Doji on daily. But if breaks above, watch for another, watch for a pump with gap on daily between 2 to 240-ish. See if that's right. Gap, you know, two to up to two forties, right? <clears throat> so one, I'll put one eighty five to two forties. Hmm. Point eighty five. All right, put DARE on there, D-A-R-E. Okay, E-V-L-V, -E nah. <clears throat> Do I like that one? Nope. U-I-P-T, no. F-D-C, hmm. Might be a potential short if this, let's see if it rejects. Right at that 1847, it is kind of breaking out. It's kind of got that falling, well, it's just a regular channel, but it's kind of got a falling wedge. It's right up here, super overextended. I could see this thing really pulling back. I'm going to put this, let's see. Eighteen fifty. This has definitely got some room. See, it's right at the top of this channel. Might be breaking above, but it's got the 1850. If 1850 rejects, it has some potential room to fall because it's very overextended. So 
and it's gapped right up. Although it's got a double bottom pattern, it is super overextended. This is definitely one to keep an eye on to short at some point. It may break 1850, but I don't know. Got to wait and see. But I'm going to put this one at uh, as a potential short. So I'm going to see if 1810 rejects at or below potential short if 1850 area cannot break price is over price overextended support Support around 1750-ish. <clears throat> uh, what is this? For right around there, 1730s, but obviously be careful around 1750. So FDC I'll put on over here for a potential short. Mm, no. Hmm. Here. That might be trying to break out. Let's see. It's kind of got an ascending triangle forming. Let's see the hourly. It's a bit overextended. It's got that resistance around that 475 range but it's also building these kind of got like that ascending triangle pattern might be, let's see here. Let's take a look at the daily again. <clears throat> so overextended though. It's too ex overextended for me to put it on there, but it's kind of got like that ascending triangle thing. It might go and break, but these look at these wicks. They're just hard to trade that. So that's why I'm not going to put it on. Hmm. Let's see here. It might be trying to break out of this down channel. Let's see. Did it get news? Oh, let's see. Yeah, I don't like it. Mm, no. Hmm. Rejected right. Well, eighteen ninety three. Price, let's see, on the hourly. It's not much of a pattern for me. Mm, nope. Nope. Hmm. Let's take a look at the hourly. And it's kind of tricky with this big candle there, so I'm not going to put that one on. No. Nope. Um, that one might be a potential short. It's a little, just a very messy chart. No. <coughs> hmm. A bit overextended. Is holding its highs, but let's take a look at the hourly. I mean, it might be looking to break. Just a little bit overextended. I don't know anything about it, but looks like it's a pump and dump stock. Um, I'll put it on just because it's a cheap one for someone to 
take and keep an eye on. Let's see here. Above 68 cents. Looks <clears throat> like a pump and dump holding highs. See if it can continue. Watch for resistance below $1. TRX, TRX, and let's take a look at ZN, no, don't like that. All right, so those are ones that are potential bullish plays. Let's take a look at um, any for bearish, see if any are on there to take a look at for either a potential dip buy or a sh potential short. Uh, don't like that. Hmm. BGFV. It's a little bit oversold. <clears throat> it's failing the moving average lines. Let's take a look at, it is starting to fail the nine, but it's very close to the 20. So I'm not gonna put that one on. Not saying it can't drop further, but I like to have some room. Hmm. So this one's failing all the moving average lines right now. Let's take a look at the hourly. It's about ready to fall below that 200. It's got some room to fall if it does to around 1415 <clears throat> so let's see here 1484 so potential short failing MAs Support with support around fourteen fifteen. So if price continues to fall here below this fourteen eighty five range, you have support right around that fourteen fifteen ish range. So it could be a potential decent short. You can kind of see. Inverse head and shoulders failed here. You can see inverse head and shoulders over here. It did break out. Uh, very choppy, kind of messy pattern, but it's one to keep an eye on for, you know, a potential scalp for a short, CVA. DVAX, uh, hmm. That might be one as well. Let's take a look. Take a look at the hourly. Um, got some room to fall down to the 1620s range. Uh, let's take a look at the daily again. A uh, little bit close for me. There's just a lot going on right here, so I'm not going to put that one on. No. I like to, again, have some room. And it's also very tricky to trade this market. You know, you want something to either go up or down, but, you know, right now, it's been, the market's just been really wacky, you know. Eventually, it's got to choose a direction. Right now, it's been bearish, so got to watch and see if it continues. Um, it's kind of a cup and handle that rejected kind of a head and shoulders ish over here. Let's look at the daily. 
can't short it on think or swim. I'm not going to put it on. No. Hmm. Take a look at the hourly. Super oversold. Hmm. Eh, I'm not going to put it on. All right. Sprint. <coughs> nope. SGMO. Take a look at the hourly. Uh, don't like it. WPG. Nope. In Zyop. Nope. All right, so that is the watch list. So this is the daily watch list for tomorrow. Uh, that's May 1st, Tuesday. Um, daily, again, you could either day trade these or possibly do swing trades. That's up to you on your risk tolerance. Uh, we will be doing, um, I will be doing the uh, swing trade watch list. We email that out to paid members. Uh, so for those of you that are not paid members yet, uh, if you want our swing trade list, our watch list alerts that we send out daily, all that good stuff, make sure that you subscribe. Uh, again, if you haven't joined our Facebook community yet, we are the Bullish Bears. Come over and join us. We call ourselves the Stock Market Community just to differentiate ourselves from our fan page. So also make sure that you like and follow our fan page as well. Uh, that way you can stay up to... <clears throat> up to date for any updates that Tim, Dan, and I send out just because again, our group gets, has a ton of people in it. Uh, so the best way to stay in contact and see our updates is to like and follow our fan page so you can stay notified. And uh, again, if you haven't been over to our website yet, lots of good content over here. Uh, first of all, we have a day trading room and a swing trading and options room. Uh, so basically choose whatever trading style uh, fits you best and then join the trade room over here uh, that works best for you accordingly. Day trading, a lot more action is happening kind of really con consistently in the day trade room. Swing trade rooms, much slower. Again, it's swing trades. You're not really getting in and out of swing trades a whole bunch, especially with the market the way it's been lately. Uh, but again, we have, we're in there as well, posting things as um, they come up. So great place to learn and practice. Read about our trade alerts here. Our trade alerts are much different than other companies. We do not call out trades, entries, and exits. Again, I haven't really said this much in a while, but I used to really pound on it. Uh, if you guys have not, or if you've been uh, to other trade rooms or you haven't, um, again, not knocking anybody else, not saying we're the best, uh, we're just a little bit different. Um, but the easiest thing that Dan and I and Tim could do is pump stocks, right? We have a massive community, right? <clears throat> the easiest thing we could do is get a whole bunch of members coming in and then telling them what trade we're getting in and getting them to get in the same trade at us, as us, right? But we don't do that. So we don't call out entries and exits for several reasons. Um, again, we're not a stock pumping service. Again, there's many companies, the ones want, that are telling you to get in and out of the stock that they're in, they could be great people, uh, but indirectly, they're still pumping a stock, right? So very simple. If we get an ABC company and then you guys get in right after us and then we know how many people approximately are going to get in that trade, we know it's the, that stock's going to hit scanners, right? So very simply, if we get an ABC company, we call it out to you guys and hundreds of people get in that trade and we sell, you know, 30 seconds, minute, minute and a half later after you guys all start coming in and it hits a, like a scanner like trade ideas, you know, we, we can make our scalp 10, 15, 20 cents, whatever it is, get out, right? And then you guys are chasing us on the way out. So be very aware of, again, it's not illegal. It's not wrong. Um, it's just the nature of the stock market. If you've been in uh, another trading room or if you haven't before and you're like, oh man, like I want entries and exits. No, you don't. You really don't want entries and exits unless you want to see how that trader is doing. Like if you're just trying to shadow and see what they're doing. But if you're looking to get in and out of that same trade as that other guru or company, you're going to fail as a trader 
uh, because it's just pumping and dumping of a stock. You got to, especially with these day trading, right? You're scalping 10, 20 cents if you're lucky, you know, 10, 15, 20 cents. Um, so again, we all want to hit home runs 50 cents or a dollar for sure, but that's not always realistic. The average gain 10, 15, 20 cents. So that's where, again, the easiest thing that Tim, Dan, and I could do is have you guys come into our day trading room each day, take our watch list, right? Get in a position um, right before we call it out to you, call out um, just again, for instance, right over here, we can call out ATOS, right? We get our position at ATOS. Let's say we got in at 439, right? And we said, all right, in ASOS for, or ATOS at 439. And let's say we think that, you know, the thing might reject at 450 or 451. We take seven, eight, nine cents, whatever on it, call out the trade. You guys get in, you guys get it in. And as you guys are chasing it up and it's getting close to 450, we're dumping at 438, 439, make our 10 cents, right? And then you guys get caught bag holding. It rejects off 450. We're out and we just, hey, 10 cents. Okay, guys, we just made 10 cents. And meanwhile, more than half the people that are in our group lost money. And uh, that's how trade rooms work, right? Um Again, not knocking anybody else that does that, but we don't do that. We're showing you on our watch list the support and resistance levels, right? Right over here. We're sending these out each night. We also share um, over here our Trade Ideas link every day. Trade Ideas is about a $120 a month scanner, right? We share this every single morning. We post an updated link by 9 a.m. of a screen share so you can actually see a live scanner in action. Use our copy of it. We do recommend getting your own copy of Trade Ideas, but you know, wait till you can afford it, right? So that way you can, once you can't afford it, you can tweak the scanning settings and all the way, you know, however you like them. But <clears throat> again, we're doing the watch list and the alerts. We're um, giving you support and resistance levels. We're showing trade ideas. And then also in our trade rooms, we're calling out support and resistance levels as stocks are hitting trade ideas. So the best thing that you can do is open up uh, a virtual account with either Thinkorswim right over here or Interactive Brokers, take our watch list and alerts, upload them into your brokerage account, come into one of these trading rooms over here, practice making trades, watch us call out support and resistance so you can see these support and resistance levels and do this every single day until trading becomes comfortable to you. This is trading in a nutshell, right? But the easiest thing we could do, this is hard work, right? Doing this every day, right? Coming in here and doing all this stuff and sharing and doing all that stuff. That's really being active um, and showing you what's going on, you know? And, you know, we've been in other trade rooms before that are much more expensive uh, than us. And there, many of them are very silent, don't say much, don't say really anything that's going on. They're not teaching support and resistance. And then they're just looking like heroes when they make their three or four or five or ten thousand dollars on a day because they made a ten or fifteen scalp uh, cent scalp because they have a you know hundred thousand dollar brokerage account um, and they're buying all the shares. So you're like, oh wow, that guru just made five grand or ten grand. Um, but meanwhile, they just made whatever seven, eight, ten, fifteen cents, and they just use their hundreds or thousands of members to pump up a stock, right? That's the easiest thing that we could do, but we do not do that. And for those that follow us and are really paying attention, we're in there every single day in our trade rooms teaching you guys how to become good traders, right? It would be much easier for us to pump stocks. We just don't do that. So all of that to say, again, we're always providing lots of content. Again, Trade Ideas, our scanner of choice, you get a 15% discount, again, when you can afford it. Uh, we Again, Trade Ideas, our favorite, favorite scanner, Market Club, Kind of a close second. It's more of for good, really good for swing trading and options trading. Um, so if you're looking for swing trades or options trades, Market Club is really good. You get a two week trial um, and it's about half the cost of trade ideas. So if you're more of a swing trader or options trader, then you might want to look at picking up uh, Market Club. Trade ideas is really good for both day trade and swing trading. That's why you want your own copy so you can tweak it the way you'd like. So if you want to do you know, swing trading and really tweak it and stuff, and you can afford, you know, 120 bucks a month or so, then pick up Trade Ideas. But again, these are our two scanners of choice. Links will be below. Um, so yeah, there you have it. Lots of content over here, members only videos. For those of you guys that took the um, Candlesticks course, 
We have how to trade the patterns right here, a video on how to get in and out of the patterns that are in this candlestick course. When we watch launch our second one, the advanced candlestick course on reversal patterns, we will also have another video under here on how to trade the reversal patterns, right? We're also gonna have a desktop background uh, for the patterns as well as our ebook and all that good stuff coming. So pretty much all of that stuff, everything I just said to you guys, all of that content and everything for 10 bucks a month, cost of a Netflix payment, cancel any time. We're giving you all of this content. We're adding more on uh, as we continue to grow. We're just continuously growing. But we're all about giving back and trying to help you guys to become good traders. Uh, so make sure that you take advantage of it. So uh, last but not least, make sure you subscribe to our YouTube channel. Click the notification bell. And if you don't like, if you're, you've gone through our thousands of dollars of courses over here and you want more content, then we'll come over here, look at our playlist, and we have tons of other videos and content for you guys to learn from. So happy trading tomorrow. Stay safe and uh, enjoy.